Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the auto hunts. It's definitely the most asked question I've had since posting videos uh, from the start. And I said I would do more videos and uh, I'm keeping my promise right here. So uh, it's still, for some reason, it still loses uh, the quality connection. And then it says my internet's slow, which is bullshit because I've got the fastest internet line you can get in the UK. And it's a business line. Uh, Facebook must sort this shit out, but uh, I don't use Facebook a lot to play this as many just tablets But if you click on a monster and you say attacking uh, Down here hunting streak right there. That is your auto hands for some reason. They're called capture tools um, in your inventory, but uh, at the moment with the to the end of horizon Best hunter. This is when I use my auto hands normally on a Wednesday when there is a monster hunting uh, the, the daily mission is a monster hunty daily mission. I do that over here. And this is normally a, a monster hunting mission on a Wednesday. There it is there. Besting the beasties. So I combine this with the end of the horizon auto hunt over here. And uh, then I'll have this monitor open up on a separate computer. And I'll just hunt. And every, every hour or so I'll come back and heal my pirates. And just let them auto hunt the entire day. Now, <clears throat> what was that? I didn't see what that was. Um... Oh, because it's, it's a new uh, login here. So, with regards to the auto hunts themselves, people are asking why, if they start attacking a monster and they click the auto hunt, and then they sign out and they come back about an hour, two hours later or something, the auto hunt has stopped. That's because you've logged out. The auto hunt will only continue for about 10 minutes if you're logged off. You have to stay logged in the entire time, which is a bit of a ball ache. But uh, if you're able to do it, uh, have your phone on or something like that when you're at work, then you can actually do the auto hunt. You just have to come back and heal your pirates. Otherwise, you'll be getting uh, more and more pirates injured because the lesser pirates will be added to your ship. So the reason why the auto hunts don't continue is because of you logging out. And uh, that is the reason. So... I'm going to do a test today, guys. My first video on the end of the horizon, um, besting the beasties, or sorry, the best hunter. What I want to do is have a look over here, taking note of what my number is, 5857, right there. And keeping in mind the next reward, I think, over here is 100 auto hunts or capture tools. Oh, that's a, yeah, 1010, so that's a, a bit more. It's 100 tools right there, so I'll be adding that into my totals, and I'll be doing this all day. And then when I come back this evening or something like that, oh, surprise gift, oh, thanks. Um, then we're going to determine how many auto hunts exactly it takes for you to get the much wanted 280 premium blueprint tickets right there. So that is what is going to happen on the, this day. And uh, I will catch you in about 12 hours time. But uh, for you, it'll probably be a couple of seconds. Also, one a quick other note is at the moment, that's the, the most powerful I've ever been. 674. It's because I've done my, my buffs on the treasures. I've done my buffs over here, obviously. And then I could also do being an alliance leader. I can do alliance, defense and attack. Oh, can I do another one? Yes, and oh, no, that's the, the speed. I think I'd rather go for attacking. No, something? No, I think I'm going to go for speed. 5% for two hours, so not a, not a massive amount. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much... Oh, there it is there. That's... Oh, yeah, I got over 700k. That's fantastic for a first time. One last thing before I go. I do have a Crimson Dragon over here, level 50, and he's got a lot of uh, tough pirates, pretty much. Oh, a lot of tough pirates, so he's a beast. He can take out, I know it's not impressive for the higher players, but he can take out an S3 or S2 on his own, which is pretty damn cool. But at the same time, oh, do we have another one? I can do an S4, I think, with two. Uh, let's do Black Pearl as well. Oh, I've got no more. <laughs> I did them this morning. But uh, what you want to do is get the, the toughest monster you can. So for me, it's going to be comfortably the S5 monster. So let's go to S5 over here, because I just got another ship. Uh, my fleet got increased a little bit more, so I can do this. So I'm going to go to get the strongest fleet I can over there. And Hunting Streak is, it, is uh, activated. And I want to see, before I leave this alone and start doing my other work, what kind of damage these guys get here. So... 21 see that's it's not ideal i'd prefer it to be below 20 but uh because i mean he's gonna be doing this all day and the pirates are gonna be super damaged but um that 21 is is obviously a rough 
a rough estimate of how many guys are going to get um, smashed every time. So we can have a look at that one when it comes into it. But then next up, we're going to go to the next monster, which is an S1. And we're going to take three guys. And my most powerful one, I think, is Silent Mary, 46, 45. Yeah. And we're going to auto hunt that. And let's see if he had 27. So you see, I'd rather not have that one on there because I can divide this fleet up and get a lot better monsters on their own. So we'll see what the S1 monster gets here now. Seven is totally fine. It'll range from 20 to seven. But we're gonna stop there. And we're gonna tell my other one now, we're gonna go to an S3, I think it is. We're gonna use those two and the pearl. So a lot less of a fleet, but obviously he's gonna be a lot easier than an S4. Let's have a look. Okay, so the, the S1 monster's fine. I can leave that. And this one is seven as well. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. Then we're just gonna go for level 30s on these guys. Although he's a blue horizon. Let's see if we can do an S1 as well, comfortably. Uh, he has one over here. So we got there and then we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Let, we might as well put another ship with it just for the hell of it. Okay, now I just wanna check this fleet and see what kind of damage he gets. See, 8, 12 is fine. I'm happy with that. Let's see what this guy does. And the rest, we're just going to go for level 30 monsters. Oh, it bugs me how it keeps losing quality. It's terrible. And this is a wide connection as well. Here we go. 15. You see, that's a little bit too much. I mean, it could be a little bit less. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is get everyone else onto level 30 monsters. And uh, they're going to have almost no damage and no injuries when they do that. So we're just going to go... Although it does seem like a waste to have a blue horizon. You know what? I am just going to do it. I want to go... I want to do three and then four. We're going to see what damage that is. Uh, let's have a quick look at the damage over here. Well, not damage. I mean damage. I mean pirate damage. Pirate injury. So let's go like this. And we're going to... Oh, there's the stamina. We're just going to go that because this, this will automatically get used. Uh, you don't have to keep using it yourself. Okay, 5850, let's just say. 5850 was what I was on. Let's get those two going to level 30. Let's get the next two going to level 30. Oh, wait, how many fleets have I got out? Okay, so just one more. That's good. These guys will smash level 30. So let's have a look over here. 9 is fine. 8 is fine. 10 is okay. And I think we're going to be okay. I'll just have a quick little check at the the next time they attack. You see, 0 and then 13. What else we can do, if I've got any more skill points here, is use the burning cannibals if you want to. But it doesn't last long enough. But we're going to go hunting prep. Because that's going to increase the speed. As you can see, they sped up quite a lot there. And then straight away, we've got our auto hunt over here. We will have that. Thank you. And then we're going to go use it straight away. Oh, i got a monstrous amount of gold in a lucky box. Uh, let's go all the way down. That's what they look like there. There we go. 100 more. So 5, 9. I could say 5, 6. 5,600 auto hunts. And we're going to see where that gets me on the event horizon. To the end of the horizon. I always say event horizon. To the end of the horizon. And uh, guys, I want to catch you a little bit later. Have a good one. Hi guys, okay, so it's been about 13, 14 hours. Uh, I couldn't do it yesterday. The auto hunts were not complete, but as you can see over here, the 13, they are completed. And to put it to the rest, it'll cost you about five and a half thousand auto hunts to get the maximum reward over here to the end of Horizon, which is which is which is good. I, I thought it would be about six and a half. So five and a half thousand. I save those auto hunts up until I have enough of them. And then I do this. Like I was saying before, I normally do them on a Wednesday with the Best in the Beasties as well, just to get two birds with one stone. But uh, as you can see here, I'm going to be collecting my rewards. Render the salad unto Caesar. Look at all that stuff. 5k as well and 280 blue tickets. Premium ship tickets, should I say. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just open these boxes over here. Uh, I thought I was going to get something better. Uh, what is this? Oh, this could be a lot. 29 special gold boxes. 
So 5k times 4k, 2k, 23, 1k there. Yeah, so not too bad. And let's see if we get anywhere near two and a half thousand bloody coins. No, <laughs> that never gives you anywhere close to it. Okay, upgrading premium box to chance to receive a lot of resources. Okay, premium resources. No premium in there. These are just for the tacticians, but we've got a whole lot of gold there. That's pretty good. I'm going to go down and see the auto hunts, like I said before. I have about 400 left over. Oh, we got some more right there. That's the bread and butter. And I've got a lot of farming to do here. And a lot of cash to spend over there. But that that was the, the gist of what I wanted to do, guys. I wanted to record the two, two horizon. I was going to say event horizon again. To the end of horizon right there. To see the best hunter. To see how many tickets, or sorry, how many auto hunts you need to get that. And I'm going to be doing this with uh, a lot of the other events that happen. And I'll do a list of them as well in the order that they're going to come so you can plan ahead. That will definitely be my next video. The order of these events over here. And uh, I've got that written down right next to me. But guys, if you're wanting to join the lines, you can send me an email from the description. You can purchase a server change ticket over here. Some of the battle shop. Again, this could be very different for you uh, depending on your level. But there is a server change ticket for 65k right there. And then I think you're still going to have to pay or something. But anyway, uh, all the information is in the description for the alliance and stuff like that. So if you are wanting to join an alliance, also I've got a Discord group for the game. If you would like to join that, email me again from the description and I can add you to that. It's a lot easier for me to answer questions and uh, to help people with even with pictures visually as well in this game than it is just to chat on YouTube because I don't always get the notifications of replies to something that I say or reply that I make to you. So it's a bit, uh, bit here and there. But that's it, guys. Again, if you have any questions, ask me. I'm always going to reply. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.